Good morning. We're here with our golf course superintendent, Carl Zorea, to ask some general questions about our course, regrassing, and the irrigation project. What was your assessment of the course when you arrived, and what is it now? My assessment of the course upon arrival was a little bit of shock that it was a private golf club, but also a lot of opportunity because it was such a rough condition. And you've seen our staff take advantage of those opportunities over the last several weeks and months and improve the golf course. And we have a slogan, and you've heard it many times or seen it written, we're uh, better than yesterday, not quite as good as tomorrow. Let's talk a little bit about test hole number 12. It appeared that the hole took a lot of extra work to bring it to the condition that it is now. How will you avoid the problems that this one hole presented if we redo the entire course? It, the hole on number 12 needed a level of accountability and it lacked that and when we came in and we really started getting after it after about 60 days you saw the improvement and if we were to do a regressing on the entire golf course accountability is going to be key and our staff is ready to, for that. Uh, they will understand the procedures and ultimately I will be held accountable to ensure that they get executed. Some members think we should test hole number 12 through a season with the winter weather and the cart traffic. What are your thoughts? Hole 12 with celebration is planned and healthy and ready for play as you have been enjoying. It is the only grass that is available now that can be used to be planted with the method that we are planning to implement. So, and it's also been successful at many other facilities for a decade. Uh, so. I, Waiting and waiting, we're just prolonging the inevitable. Our turf specialist had indicated that we needed to improve the CEC ratios. Was there a measurable improvement on hole 12? The CEC definitely improved on hole 12 after the application of compost and regrassing. And we measure that by the amount of water reduction over the last several weeks. The same thing with a reduction in our nutritional uh, applications. With this being a test, what have we learned on hole 12? <laughs> what have we learned on 12? We've learned a lot of valuable lessons. Number one is we do not want to implement the rototill method because it creates the need to rogue additionally. We also learned that compost should be a site-specific application. And we've learned that celebration is very, very aggressive, great for cart traffic and divot recovery, but not so great to plant around greens. 